Thank you, Josh. Uh, again, this is the Alchin Kaya with Sika Corporation. And my job at Sika is to take care of the wind energy business, including the blade manufacturing industry and the aftermarket of the wind blades here in the US. I'm based out of California. And uh, like everyone else, I used to travel extensively uh, before the COVID-19. Uh, but as you know, all travels have been limited and these webinars and uh, online meetings uh, have been a big part of our daily lives. Um, but for us, it's a great way to reach out to our customers. And um, I even know that uh, we, have a, we have a couple of registrations from overseas for this webinar today. Uh, so thank you very much for joining. Before we start, I would like to uh, introduce uh, our um, webinar team very shortly. Uh, Josh Hill is our market field engineer for the wind energy business and aftermarket businesses. And he handles all kinds of marketing activities for these groups. And he's the, he's the person who actually organized this meeting today. And uh, so thank you, Josh. Um, we also have uh, Mr. George CV with us today. He's the director of our product engineering for transportation appliances and manufacturing. He's, uh, he's one of our most experienced and knowledgeable support at Sika Corporation, and he, he shares his great experience uh, in all kinds of applications and, uh, and products at Sika US. Um, as he's going to be with us today during the webinar, uh, please feel free to ask uh, any kind of questions, any technical questions you may have, and uh, we will be happy to answer. So um, let's start with a quick uh, introduction of our company and uh, what we do. Uh, I know that a lot of people have some question marks because they see, they keep seeing uh, the SECO logo on completely different uh, product packages from wind to marine um, to construction grouts that you see in, uh, in Home Depot or uh, any automotive products. Uh, just to give you a brief description of Sika, we are a 110 years old global specialty chemicals company headquartered in uh, Zurich, Switzerland. And uh, we are active in more than 100 countries with uh, more than 200 production plants and 25,000 employees worldwide. Um, if you will see on the right side uh, with all these new additions last year and, uh, and for the last few years, um, you'll notice that we are a company who likes to grow. Uh, this is why we always invest in the new uh, production plants, new R&D and technology centers, and uh, new acquisitions globally every year. One of the things that I personally find amazing is uh, that Sika has been a part of everybody's daily life for many years. And uh, from the concrete that is used in the, in the roads and bridges that we use, to flooring and roofing technologies that are used for our homes and uh, big skyscrapers in the big cities. Um, from the adhesives and, uh, and the sealants that are used for our, you know, used in our cars and boats. And it's too many technologies developed by Sika so far. And there's always a Sika product or technology in, in most of our daily lives, which we don't know. So I find it very impressive uh, personally. So looking at the markets that we serve globally, um, we have seven uh, major uh, target markets within Sika. Uh, the wind energy falls under the last one at the bottom, we call industry, and it handles all kinds of manufacturing industries such as automotive, bus, uh, heavy truck, marine, and many, many more. In, uh, in addition to that, we have uh, concrete, um, waterproofing, roofing, coating, and uh, flooring, sealing and bonding, and refurbishment. Uh, those are basically the core areas that we deal with uh, at Sika, and every area has its own markets, customer groups, and uh, product range. So after all that introduction, we can slowly dive into the wind energy business. But before that, let's uh, let's have a quick look at what's what's happening within the industry group, within our group. Um, we have um, some of the diverse markets within the group include uh, the appliances and manufacturing. Uh, which is basically the white goods production. Uh, industrial lamination deals with the sandwich panel production for different markets. Uh, transportation, we deal with the bus, uh, heavy truck, rail, and RV manufacturing industries. With the automotive, uh, it deals with the passenger cars, and automotive aftermarket deals with the auto glass business. And in addition to that, we have renewable energies, facade and fenestration, tooling and composites, and also marine that deals with the boat building industry and also the boat aftermarket. So um, we can slowly dive into the wind energy. And uh, as I already mentioned in the diversity of the markets that we serve, um, Sika offers a good variety of products to the wind energy industry. Uh, for the last 25 years, we were able to offer top quality, high performing uh, solutions that basically work from the tip of the blade 
uh, to the base of the towers. And uh, thanks to the strong R&D and technical services infrastructure, um, we are now able to offer a full range of sealant, sealants, adhesives, structural bonding products, uh, grouting, uh, admixtures, and coating products and technologies for the wind turbine manufacturing, installation, and repair. And uh, we, are, we are proud to be the very unique company uh, to offer all of these uh, different solutions together, which no other company can offer. Uh, some of the areas of application uh, are uh, turbine manufacturing with applications in the, in the nacelle production and as well as the coating technologies for the steel towers. Uh, we have blade manufacturing, uh, obviously, and also the uh, blade and uh, turbine repair uh, applications. For these main application areas, uh, some of the most popular brands that are known in the wind energy business is uh, Sika Power and Sikodur, which are basically our um, epoxy resins and epoxy structural adhesive groups. Uh, we have Sika Flex, uh, which is the best well-known uh, product group. It's our elastic sealing and bonding technologies. Uh, we have Sika Force. It's our two component polyurethane structural bonding adhesives. Um, we have Sika Fast, um, that includes our fast curing MMA adhesives. And also the Sika Seal, which is our silicone technology uh, sealants and adhesives that we use in the, in the market. So the main topics that we will be talking about today is the you know, definition of the different damages on the blade. We'll talk about some um, types of damages uh, where, where we need to use Sika. Uh, some of these damages, we're gonna be talking about the solutions uh, starting from the surface finishing solutions to structural repair solutions. And then we'll be talking about the uh, elastic sealing and bonding solutions. And we'll talk about some of these uh, benefits and advantages of using these products. So let's start with some of the blade applications where Sika steps in with its solutions and technologies. And I like to start with the definition of you know, main occasions where our products are applied on a blade. Now, the first one is the wear and incident damages. Um, we're talking about the leading edge uh, erosion um, happens naturally in time. We're talking about some other damages caused by bird impacts or uh, lightning strikes. And then uh, we'll be talking about the production defects. Um, they are still very common, uh, even though the blade manufacturers run very comprehensive quality checks before the blades leave the plants. Um, there's, there's, there's also some, still some cases where cracks, delaminations, and voids inside the blades are observed even short time after the installation of the blades on the field. And the last one is the blade upgrades. Uh, there's, this is another reason for applications on a blade where you would like to add some additional components on the blade uh, in order to improve the performance and uh, by vortex generators, winglets, or, or serrations. So uh, let's talk about the types of damages that we will be talking about. So the first one on the left, we're talking about the surface or cosmetic damages. Um, these are non-structural damages where the damage is less than a halfway through the first ply of the fiberglass. Um, these surface damages do not bring a big risk uh, on the blade, uh, on the total operation, but it may affect the efficiency and the lifetime of the turbine itself. And usually, um, these types of damages are repaired very easily with proper sealants and uh, fillers and top coats. On the other hand, more seriously, we have on the right side the structural damages. Uh, we're talking about some critical damage on the main body of the blade. Um, where the damage is more than uh, halfway through the first ply of the fiberglass. And these damages have a critical impact on the operation and have serious risk of complete failure and breakdown on the, on the blade and the turbine. Uh, when we're talking about the structural lamination and structural uh, repairs, we're talking about epoxy structural resins and also structural bonding products like uh, Sika Power 1200, which is an epoxy structural adhesive that we use on the plates. If you look at some of the examples here uh, on the pictures, this is the surface damage uh, examples. As you will see on the left, it's, the, it's kind of like a bad finish after lamination. Uh, in the middle picture, you will see a minor transport damage. Um, and on the right side, you will see some surface defects, uh, which you can you know, easily see on the top coat or even the gel coat. And these are the mostly types of damages where you can just get away with using a sealant or a filler and then a top coat. But then comes the structural damages, as you will see on the left. Uh, it's a major lightning damage. 
Uh, in the middle, you will see a trailing edge crack, which is most probably a production defect. And uh, on the right side, you will see a most probably a bird impact, which is a major impact where you cannot get away with a with a filler. You need to use some structural lamination or structural repair uh, that you need to use. And lastly, uh, the leading edge erosion, which is very often and it's caused by naturally by rain and dust in time. So uh, we talked about the damages uh, in general. And now let's move forward with some details of the products and solutions. And uh, I'd like to start with the with the Sika fillers uh, at the beginning. Um, the Sika 47800 red and blue fillers, uh, they're specifically formulated um, for the blade repair applications, and they come with two different color codes. Uh, the first one is the blue. Uh, blue is the super fast uh, curing filler that is designed for uh, the low temperature applications. And the red one is the fast curing filler for warmer climates. Um, these fillers come in uh, coaxial cartridges, meaning the parts A and, a and B uh, are in just one cartridge, which you can dispense very easily with a manual caulking gun. They are really easy to extrude and they come with uh, static mixers in the box, uh, which make the whole application and dispensing process very easily. Um, you can also apply thick layers and uh, will not have any problems with, uh, with them curing in less than 30 minutes. Uh, and when we're talking about the curing times, uh, this is the graph that shows the curing pattern for both red and blue. As you will see, um, you can use the blue version at five degrees Celsius uh, and start sanding it in 30 minutes uh, with no heating required. And um, just to give you an idea of the curing speed, if you apply the same blue filler at the temperature of 25 degrees here, you'll be able to send it in less than four minutes. So this is how fast these, uh, these surface fillers are, especially the blue version. So uh, then we come to the structural repair side. Um, we're talking about the structural repair resins. Um, one of the main products that we use for the structural repair is the our Sika Duroplay repair resins. And this is an epoxy resin that comes in two different speed versions. One of them is the 30 minute open time. The other one is the 90 minute open time, depending on the scope of the repair. Um, as you will see on the picture, it comes in uh, pre-measured pails on the right side, and uh, which you can mix the entire pails uh, of A and B uh, together. These are 10 kg for the resin and three kg for the hardener. And um, you're ready to go ahead and uh, mix them and start the application immediately. Um, if the scope of the repair application is smaller, uh, you can always use the Sika mixing cups, as you will see on the picture on the left, and uh, to get the precise measurement. Um, in addition to that, this product also comes with uh, smaller packaging, uh, 300 milliliter pouches, uh, or we call them mix packs, as you will see in the, in the picture in the middle where you just pull out this plastic separator, the black one in the middle, and you mix the parts A and B inside the pouch and you're ready to go. And uh, there's no possibility to make a mistake on the mixing ratio of the resin and the hardener inside the pouch or make any kind of waste. Um, this small packaging is also, I need to note that it's currently not available in the US, but depending on the demand, it can be, can be available for our customers in the US um, um, because they're very easy and useful uh, to have a, when you have a small area to repair. So again, talking about the curing times of the blade repair resins, uh, this graph shows the significant advantage of the sickle door blade repair resins. As you will see, uh, the standard equivalent product, as you will see in the market, is shown in gray in the, and the red shows our sickle door blade repair resin 30. As you will see um, that it reaches a curing level uh, which we call the glass transition level of 90 degrees in half an hour, where the equivalent product, which is shown with the gray color, reaches to the same curing level in almost eight hours. Um, it's a huge difference when you're comparing this, uh, the time needed to go on to the next stage of the repair process. And dropping from eight hours for the same application for the same post cure. Uh, process, it means a huge amount of time saving uh, for the entire repair process. 
And then we come to our structural adhesives. Uh, Sika Power 1200 is, uh, is a strong epoxy adhesive used for uh, the repair of the structural damages. And this is a two component, low density uh, epoxy adhesive that is highly preferred both in the blade manufacturing and also blade repair. Um, in addition to bonding of all composite and metal parts, this product is also highly preferred for um, drill and fill applications to fill small voids inside the blade due to its low density and injectability properties. And of course, uh, being a toughened epoxy um, and not being a glass filled epoxy uh, adhesive, uh, it brings a lot of additional advantages in terms of strength, uh, durability, fatigue, and uh, significantly less risk of cracks and propagation. Uh, this product is an OEM standard adhesive, mostly used in drums at the plants, but we made it available in cartridges so it could be easily used in the field operations as well. Um, and last note, it does not require any heating to cure, but the curing time can be significantly uh, be acceler accelerated uh, by application of heat. So some pictures of the Sika Power 1200. Um, you will see still uh, as most of the epoxy adhesive is it's green. On the top, uh, the product is applied vertically with a 20 millimeter thick bead and shows absolutely no sagging. Um, in addition to its non-sag property, it can also be used for drill and fill applications very easily, as I mentioned. And if you look at the left bottom picture, um, you will see how the injectability of the material is simulated um, in the lab. And uh, we can see how much material can be injected in a narrow uh, void inside the blade in a, in a given amount of time. And then we come to our elastic bonding and elastic sealing products. Uh, Cicoplex 521 UV sealant is one of the most popular products in the, in the wind and energy industry. Um, it's an industry standard, uh, one component STP technology. Um, it has a very high level of UV and weathering resistance. Uh, this product is preferred uh, for different sealing applications for not only the blade manufacturing, uh, but also the nacelles and other components of the wind turbine as well as, as, well as repair. Um, as I already mentioned, this is a one component sealant, uh, meaning the curing time can highly depend on the temperature and the humidity. And um, you may get a full cure in maybe two days in a, in a summertime in Florida, uh, but also you may, it may take more than a week at, uh, in wintertime in Canada. So it really depends on the humidity and temperature in the place where you're doing the application, which brings us to a fairly new product, Seacoflex 953. So um, in order to achieve the accelerated uh, curing for a sealant in every working condition, um, Seacoflex 953 would be the best option as a two component sealant. Uh, it comes in 490 milliliter dual cartridges with 10 to 1 uh, mixing ratio. And um, it brings a higher tensile strength when compared to Cicoflex 521 UV, uh, which makes it available to use both as a sealant and also an adhesive. And it also, of course, brings the advantage of fully curing in, in, a, in a few hours instead of waiting for five, six days, regardless of the application of application humidity and temperature. So we talked about the products and solutions that we offer individually, and uh, I would also like to mention some of the benefits and advantages. Um, at Sika, we, we pride ourselves in finding long-term solutions to make things easier uh, for the people who use it. And I think one of the most important benefits uh, that Sika brings is the range of application temperature, which ultimately creates an important advantage of extended repair season. Uh, with many products in the market uh, that you can only use above 60, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you have a huge limitation on the repair season. And if you take the standard, if you take a standard climate where the temperatures range between 20, 25 degrees to 75, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you will have a repair season that starts, uh, probably starts in March and ends in mid-October. Um, with most of the Sika products that can be applied between 40 degrees and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll be able to extend the repair season by at least two months, um, which, which makes a huge difference in both technical capabilities and also for the repair business throughout the year on a, on a commercial standpoint. 
Another advantage uh, that I'd like to talk about is, is the user-friendly packaging. Um, considering most structural adhesive sealants and, uh, and resins are two component materials and they need precise mixing for, uh, for optimum performance and curing time. Um, we step forward with more user-friendly packaging for most of our products. Um, for the resins, uh, as I already mentioned, in addition to the product in cans, uh, we're able to offer three milliliter uh, mix pack pouches, where you will see in the picture on the left, where you just mix the product, mix the resin and the hardener inside the pouch, and there's no, there's no chance to make a mistake, and there's no chance to make any waste. Um, it's, uh, it's the same with the structural bonding adhesives uh, when we're talking about sealants. And even for the fillers, uh, Sika Force 7800 red and blue fillers, um, they come in coaxial cartridges and uh, they can be dispensed by a regular caulking gun very easily without the need of manual mixing during the very difficult working conditions uh, at the wind farms. And finally, um, we're talking about the application speed. Um, I believe one of the most important advantages that SICA portfolio brings is the, is the curing speed. Uh, the curing time can be very fast, and they, they bring a great advantage um, of minimizing the wait time of the operators on the rope before they jump onto the next step of the repair process. Um, just to give a few examples, again, talking about the structural repairs, the blade repair resins of SICA, they reach the standard OEM TG level, in order, in other words, uh, the curing level in about 30 minutes. And they save significant amount of time in the lamination process compared to eight hours with other, other products in the market. Same with the fillers. Again, uh, Sika 7800 red and blue fillers, they do not need, they do not require any multiple layers. Um, you can just apply a single thick layer and it can be ready to sand as early as 10 to 30 minutes, depending on the temperature which is a great advantage as well. Now we slowly come to the conclusion and uh, I basically talked about uh, the types of damages and what Sika offers in order to uh, make the repair process much easier and faster for the, for the users. Um, and just to wrap up, uh, Sika tries to offer uh, the highest quality and performance products in order for the units to be repaired with minimum downtime and do the best to get them back into service. Um, with the SICA products, um, they work on almost all kinds of damage types from major lightning strikes to minor transportation scratches or uh, even cosmetic touch-ups. And finally, one of the, one of the most important points uh, that we feel very proud is our strong technical service with high-end testing centers and R&D support in the US. Our uh, US testing center in Madison Heights, Michigan is always ready um, to answer any questions or inquiries, as well as our wind technology center, which is based in Zurich, Switzerland. So uh, I believe with the, with the constant feedback and information flowing from our customers, from you, uh, regarding the new solutions desired or required, uh, I think we will be able to bring even more solutions and technologies to the wind energy market uh, every year. So, uh, that was it. Thank you very much for your attention, everybody. And uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. And I'll, I'll pass the microphone to, to Josh. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elchin. Uh, we, we do have a handful of questions that came in. Um, I'll start with the first one here. Which of the SICA products uh, that you mentioned today are currently used by blade manufacturing plants? So uh, I think we talked about the resins, we talked about the structural um, adhesives, sealants, and also the fillers. Um, looking at these products, I think, yeah, all of them, all of these products that I mentioned um, that, are, uh, that, 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 that I mentioned are already used, being used at the production plant in the blade manufacturing industry. The only difference, of course, is the packaging. These products are used in drums. But for the, on the repair side of the product, uh, the packaging is different and the material in the drums are down packaged um, to cartridges or pouches or cans uh, so that it's much easier for the, for the field, field repair. Excellent. Uh, a second question I have here. Uh, you've talked about two different options of Sika Force 7800, uh, red and the blue. How do we decide which one to use at different temperatures? Uh, that's a good question, and uh, 
Well, I think there's there's no single answer to that because because of the fact that every repair application is different. Um, in general, uh, the Sikapore 7800 fillers can be used anywhere from 40 degrees to 95 degrees, but the product also gives you the freedom to select the desired curing speed, uh, depending on the temperature and how big um, the repair area is. So if you have a large area to fill, you will need more time to apply and smoothen out the filler and get it ready for sending. And um, so in general, to answer that question, you can use the blue version for temperatures between you know, 40, 40 to 60 Fahrenheit. And uh, the red version can ideally be used from maybe 55, 60 degrees and up without any, without any problems. So it really depends on the application, depends on the temperature and depends on the scope of the, um, of the repair. Uh, third question I have, uh, what are some specific ways to have the material cure faster, even at low temperatures, especially sealants and caulks? Uh, there's not much of a thing that we can we can do about the sealants, um, um, because it, it's a one component. If it's a one component sealant, we are 100% um, dependent on the humidity and the temperature. Um, and it's very difficult to, you know, uh, increase the heat uh, on a blade if, if you're talking about a wet sealant applied on the blade. Um, for, so for the sealant, as an answer, I can say we, there's not much we can do. Uh, but for the other products, when we're talking about the resins and also the structural adhesives, um, there's always, uh, you can always get a much better curing speed uh, with heating the product, either using any kind of heaters uh, from heating blankets to to heat blowers. Excellent. Um, another one I have here, what is the maximum uh, layer thickness when using the Sika Force filler, both the red and blue? Um, when we look at the technical data sheet, um, it mentions about uh, 20 millimeter thickness. So anywhere around 20 millimeter thickness, um, you can you can apply um, without any problems. Um, if you wanted to use it more than 20 millimeters, uh, probably you would need to. Probably you would you don't need it. I mean, normally for a for a filler application on a blade, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to apply a filler more than 20 millimeters or two centimeters. Uh, but uh, we would we would recommend not to use it. Uh, with a thickness more than 20 millimeters. Um, so with the 20 millimeters, I think you would get a filler application without any sagging, and um, you would have no problems with the curing time as, as stated in the graph for the red and blue uh, fillers as well. So I would say, um, as a recommendation, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't apply a thickness more than 20 millimeters. Okay, excellent. Um, it looks like I have two more questions left. Um, can the Sika Power 1200 and Sika to Resins 30 and 90 be used simultaneously during the layup? Um, could that be a question maybe for George? Yeah, could you ask it again? Yes, uh, can the Sika Power 1200 and Sika Dur blade repair resins 30 and 90 be used simultaneously during a layup? Um, well, they're they're both epoxies, um, so they cure by the same mechanism. But the 1200 is meant to be an adhesive, so you're basically bonding two composites that are already been cured. Or two substrates that are already been cured or are hard. Basically, the the, the sneaker door is meant to be applied wet, uh, and you know it. Pre uh, it's meant for uh, structural repairs of, of a damaged area. So I don't, I don't, I don't quite understand the question. Can they be used simultaneously? Uh, if if the question. If you're asking, will one interfere, interfere with the cure of the other? No. Um, but I, 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 I guess I really don't understand the question. I, I believe I think it's, um, talking about the, the simultaneously is the wrong word, I guess. I mean, uh, if, we, if we use the resin and uh, prepare the lamination after yeah. the full cure, I think we should be able to use the Sika Power 1200 as a 
as any diesel. I think that that's what what they meant by the question because it doesn't make much I, sense I, using them uh, simultaneously. I guess. Are you saying if you if you cure the Sika door, can you use twelve hundred on top of it? That's what I understood. Well, yeah, it's it's basically a repair. It would be part of the composite now. Yeah. Yep. So the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I have. I have uh, one more question here. Uh, does Sika have a leading edge protection product? Not at the moment. Uh, we are working on it globally, especially uh, our R and D center in in Europe is working on the on a solution for the leading edge protection product. Uh, but currently, no. I think uh, I'm hoping to have a have a solution on the leading edge product uh, protection product um, in the in the next year. Excellent. Well, that's all the questions I have. Um, so that should conclude the final Q and A portion of today's webinar. Uh, if you have further questions or need additional information, uh, please contact your local Sika sales representative, or visit us online at www.sikaindustry.com. Uh, you can also contact our customer service department at one eight hundred six eight eight seven four five two. And for technical questions, please email the technical service department at ts mh at us.sika.com. As we conclude this webinar, a brief survey will come up on your screen. If you could please take a couple of minutes to fill it out, it would be greatly appreciated. I'd like to thank everyone for taking time out of their schedules to attend today's session. And a special thanks to uh, Yelchin Kaya for leading this webinar and sharing your expertise on Sika solutions for wind blade repair and maintenance. Uh, so thank you all again and have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Josh.